Hey guys, this is Nate. Welcome back. Today, uh, this is going to be episode one of a new series that I'm bringing out. Um, it's just mainly going to be uh, like Minecraft projects and stuff like that. And so, today here, as you've probably seen in a previous video, I built the Craftco factory. And uh, it took me a little while, but I finally got the building finished. So in this series, uh, what we're going to do is build a working Tekkit factory. And what it's going to do is uh, we're going to have a bunch of quarries underneath. It's going to pipe up to the top. It's going to sort everything, bring it down here and macerate everything, smelt it here, and then bring it down here to where it will be sorted and put it into uh, like crates. So yeah. And this right here is a working gate. So I just have to flip this switch here. And it's a little laggy, but there we go. And yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. And then I just go over here, flip it up, and up it goes. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It took me a while to make that. But uh, alright, so like, this will be the uh, very bottom floor. And this will be where all the crates will be full of all the goods that we make. So, and then there's going to be a basement with all the quarries eventually. So this is a little like elevator shaft. There's, I'm planning on putting stairs in here, but as for now, there's nothing. This is the second floor, and this will be where all the smelting is done. And of course, if something doesn't need to be smelted, it'll just be taken straight down to the bottom. This is the third floor. This is where any kind of like maceration is done. And finally, this is, if I can get in here. This is the fourth floor where all the sorting is done. And the quarries will be piped up to this floor. So yeah, that's basically it. And uh, for the tour. So what we can actually do now is do the first step. Uh, one thing we're going to need for everything is, one main thing is power. So if we can go ahead and go back outside. And I figured we would try to be more of a green company despite these giant things polluting the air and have a solar power system. And now, just in case you didn't know, I am using Creative for this whole build. It's just for aesthetic purposes and just for fun mainly. So, uh, yeah, um, we're going to use the high voltage solar arrays which is the best uh, solar panels you can get. Um, I think it's, like, uh, well I know they're just 8 medium voltage. Each medium voltage is 8 low voltage and each low voltage is 8 normal. So it's quite a bit. So let's see. Because 1 medium voltage is 64 so multiply that by 8 and you would get however many is in this. So let's go ahead and set up a solar panel system. Uh, hmm. Let's start it over here. And we'll try to make it look good too. Uh, Alright. Alright, so for the rest of this video I'm just going to kind of speed it up since it took me about 40 minutes to uh, build this and I'll just kind of narrate what I'm doing as it goes and right now I'm just kind of building a solar panel system it's like a three step or four step system I do using just high voltage solar arrays and as you'll see in here in a minute uh, I use world edit to continue all the way down the rest of the building and uh, using this much high voltage solar rays is kind of like overkill since each one is worth like 512 uh, normal solar rays. I think each one produces almost more than like a nuclear reactor would. But yeah, just <laughs> I'm not supposed to, uh, I'm not really trying to challenge myself with all of the resource gathering. I'm just trying to build a factory to have fun with so, uh, As you saw there, I just 
duplicated it in the whole thing. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get some MFSUs and attach those directly to the solar panels. Since the MFSUs can take a high voltage current, I just connect them directly. Now I'm putting down some high voltage solar, or high voltage uh, transformers rather, to convert the high voltage current down to a medium voltage. And I'm just shift clicking with a wrench to move the input to the other side. And I go ahead and do this to the next row of uh, MFSCs. And uh, to make things easier, I just put a little platform underneath so I can go ahead and uh, easily place them and configure their inputs. And once again, I'm just shift clicking with the wrench to change the input to the other side. And then I realized that the in input for the MFSU was on the wrong side, so I had to redo the whole thing, which was a pain.
and then I finally got finished with that and now I'm just going to stick medium voltage transformers onto the high voltage to convert it to a medium voltage or low voltage current rather or actually I think it converts it to a medium voltage and the high voltage converts to high voltage and then the low voltage will convert it down to a low voltage current and I'm just laying some wires down to connect to the medium voltage transformers. And once that was done, the rest was pretty easy. I just had to run through with the transformers and change their inputs. And then finally lay down the low voltage transformers. And then after this, it was uh, pretty much done. Then I just laid some more glass fiber cables connecting all of the transformers together all into one which will be the main power cable which will run all the way down to all the floors of the factory so yeah now we have a massive amount of power which we'll probably never need <laughs> but on the good side we'll never have to worry about power and uh, I'm just putting a macerator to make sure that it's getting power and it is So yeah, I th think I just patched up the walls a little bit and that's about it. So yeah, next episode we will be uh, building the next floor which will be the sorting room. And I'll probably do that off camera and then in the video I'll just show you how it works and everything I did. Because it's probably going to take a while for me to plan out everything and get it all fixed up right. So that way when you watch the video you can just see how it works and not have to go through a long boring video. So yeah, stay tuned for next episode. That should be pretty cool. Then eventually we'll get on to the, the maceration rooms and then the furnace rooms and then so on. So yeah, stay tuned for that. If you like this video, please give it a like and also subscribe for future videos. I'll see you next time. Bye.